We're only into the first week of October and it's been unusually warm, so not surprising that fall color is lacking around here. In order to see some beautiful fall foliage, we've got to go up. Way up. To Spruce Knob, the highest point in West Virginia at over 4,800 feet in elevation. And while it's been a very warm month of October locally, up here on the mountaintop at night, temperatures have consistently dipped into the 40s and 30s, leading to near peak color conditions expected for this upcoming weekend. This high point gets its name from the abundance of red spruce at the summit, but there are plenty of deciduous trees providing a canopy of gold, red, and orange. To get to the top of Spruce Knob, you can drive. There's a nice leisurely road that will get you up to the top here along with a parking lot. But if you want to really challenge yourself, you can take the hiking route. Several trails will get you up here to the top after several arduous miles of hiking. A short climb up the observation tower at the top will provide a spectacular view. And what's great about this location is that even once the leaves have come off the trees up at the top of Spruce Knob, you can come up to this observation tower and get a look at the valleys below where the leaves won't be peaking for another one to two weeks. But a word of caution, if you are gonna be coming up here this weekend, you're gonna need some winter gear. Temperatures Saturday and Sunday in the afternoon will be in the 40s, but with gusty winds, it's gonna feel like 30s. And yes, there is even the possibility for some snowflake or sleep pellet sightings here on Sunday. My fall foliage trip started in Charleston, went up I-79, and then I made my way east on Route 33, across Buchanan and then Elkins. Once I got to Seneca Rocks, I made a right on Route 28, heading southward, and then another right onto Briary Gap Road, heading up to the summit of Spruce Knob. The best fall color I saw by far on my trip was in the Monongahela National Forest on Route 33 between Elkins and Seneca Rock and then on Route 250 between Huntonsville and Thornwood. And if hiking and cold weather don't necessarily appeal to you, you can always enjoy the fall foliage from the warm confines of one of the many trains operating in the area, including the newest, the Greenbrier Express, that travels along the Greenbrier River between Cass and Durban.